Well, it's the 22nd of March, uh, 2020, and we're currently in a self-imposed uh, isolation lockdown at home as a result of this coronavirus. It's uh, not a big problem for me because I've got plenty to do out there in the shed, and um, over the next two or three weeks or whatever it takes, I plan to get quite a lot done on the MG project. Now that the weather's cooled down, I've um, started to get underway again with a few things and the uh, big project now over the next couple of weeks would be get to get the sandblasting of the main body part done. I've done quite a bit of work on the fenders as you'll see and uh, hopefully we can make quite a bit of progress in these uh, period of uh, uncertainty and, and lockdown but uh, being in the elderly character uh, category as they like to put us it's uh, best to stay at home and just see this thing out so I look forward to getting a few videos done over the next uh, couple of weeks and keep you up to date with the progress Right, well here's a little update on the Hubnut Spanner, it's all finished, works quite well. Took a little bit of filing there to uh, get, the, get the shape of that, but uh, it all worked out a treat. There it is with the, the Hubnut inserted in there, just to give you a look at how it all, go, how it all turned out. But uh, better than spending a hundred bucks on buying one I suppose, even though it Took a little bit of work, but there you have it. Well, I haven't been doing too much of late. The uh, summer here in Brisbane, it's been quite hot and humid for a couple of months there, and I don't handle the heat as well as I used to. So, uh, but now we've just come into autumn, early March and uh, I've started to do some work again. I've started off uh, doing some sandblasting of these panels. This is the uh, left-hand side inner rear guard which I blasted off and uh, put some etch primer on it. I found a little piece there that uh, was a bit untidy, quite a lot of pitting there and a few little holes so I've put a piece in there just got to weld that uh, captive nut in behind there and prime it up so that's coming up quite well it's uh, in quite good good shape really no dents to speak of a uh, couple of little ones uh, just in that area there which have got filler over them on the other side, but I'll hammer those out and get them a bit tidier. And likewise, the right hand rear, it's all blasted up quite well and uh, it's going to look the part. I mentioned earlier in another video that uh, all of this. Uh, along that edge there so it's all been replaced so it didn't take too much work a little bit of welding in there that will tidy up a little bit before I finish it off proper right well we've got the outside of these two fenders uh, sanded down now and they both all look uh, pretty good um, not much in the way of damage on them at all pretty good I've got those uh, dog legs there welded in now a little bit of a swipe of that fiberglass uh, filler over them and they look all nice and tidy but uh, generally speaking I'm pretty happy with these 
This one here had a uh, previous repair uh, done by Oxy. Um, can't really fathom out why, but uh, there's a weld going up there. But other than that, a little bit of spotted rust there, but it's not pitted really. I'll treat that. And uh, once again, the dog leg all welded on. So that's all come up pretty good. <coughs> Happy with that. And that's the other side of those uh, couple of little wells there. Um, need to put the wire brush over that one yet, but and uh, the wire brushed over that. So once they're uh, painted, primed over, um, probably won't even see them. Yeah, so there we go. A little bit more progress there. I'll get those all primed up today with some etch primer and put them away until we continue on with the rest of the painting process. This is the left hand front. Haven't quite finished it yet, but uh, that gives you a bit of an idea what it kind of looked like there. Um, <coughs> got the new patch repair panel welded into there. But generally speaking, it's it's coming up uh, quite reasonably. A little bit of pitting in that area there, but there's still plenty of metal behind it, so I'm quite happy to uh, go along with that the way it is. It's those couple of patches from the underside that I put in. And uh, another one up at the front there. Looks like there's a few little dents there that need to be hammered up a bit. And uh, some welds from that repair piece that I put in, I'll grind those up a little bit and make them a bit tidier. But uh, yeah, generally speaking, I think it's going to be quite okay. Given the condition of the undersides of these with that uh, bit of pitting in that, as you can see, I'll probably put uh, stone guard under these fenders. Uh, it gives you a nice textured finish. I know they didn't have them from the factory, but uh, that doesn't really mean to say that it was the wisest thing to do. I did put it all underneath, all underneath the whole car of a Mustang I did once and it, uh, it all came up quite nice. Textured finish looks good. And the other advantage is if you get a stone chip on paint that uh, is just over the metal, you can end up with um, sort of rust forming there. So the stone guard is actually quite a good idea. And it does pretty things up quite a lot. But uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. On the other MG I did in the 80s, I actually uh, put it up underneath the fenders and all up underneath the, the boot as well. But I won't do that on this one. I'll, I'll just do the uh, the inside of the fenders on the uh, and on the on the body. So uh, yeah, there we go. We're back underway again, and uh, hopefully we'll get some bit of progress happening. I've also been doing a little bit of work on this right-hand front fender. This is the one I did the major repairs to. As you can see, that's a whole new piece right up to that uh, where that fiberglass uh, fill is over that weld. But I'm starting to get some shape into this, so uh, I think it'll work out quite okay. Um, a few little 
dents in that time. Oh, little dents here and there to knock out. Um, but basically the shape is is coming together. I'll show you how I went about getting the profile of that. All right, this is a, a thing my next door neighbour put me onto. He, I don't know what he called it. It's like a profile stick. And uh, I bought that from uh, a stationary supply place. And what it is is a, uh, a stick and you can send, bend it into shape and it'll, it'll hold its shape. So what I've done is on the other fender, which I know is pretty right, I've marked off uh, sections in 100 mil increments going all the way back to that point there which was a metre, didn't need to go any further because that was all okay beyond there and I marked those 100 mil increments off on each fender and from the good one I get the profile shape and try and do this with one hand just to give you a bit of an idea what's going on but you take the shape off off the, the known fender which you know is good and bring it well, that looks pretty horrible just hold on a sec Yeah, so basically the idea is you get the profile off the the good fender and transfer it over the stick over onto the one you're trying to get correct and at 100 mil or you could do it uh, closer if you wanted to increments uh, just uh, lay the uh, this profile stick over it and and uh, gives you a pretty good idea of where you need to be with the the profile of the fender that you're doing the repair on. So that's how I went about that, and it seems to be coming up quite okay. And uh, to the eye, it looks quite good. So that's the uh, that's the main thing, I guess. Um, well, we're getting there with it slowly. There's a little bit. That's a stainless steel fiberglass, stainless steel reinforced fiberglass filler over those wells and uh, not a lot of it so uh, yeah we'll see how it all turns out in the finish